Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. We have many people who were delivered last service day through the medium of the anointing water. And uh, by the grace of God, as time will permit us, we shall listen to some of this wonderful testimony. And uh, we'll start with a lady who came here with um, a terrible uh, uh, demon possession in her life. And uh, why the anointing water was being ministered last service day. She was among those that were delivered. And uh, today, she's here to testify to the goodness of God in her life. Having been delivered, she's completely taken out of the kingdom of darkness. And now she's a candidate for the kingdom of God. So we are going to start with that testimony. Mesdames et Messieurs, à présent, apprêtons-nous à écouter de merveilleux témoignages, les témoignages des personnes qui ont reçu leur miracle à travers l'eau d'onction, l'autocollant 1, ou en regardant Emmanuel Télévision, ou qui ont reçu des délivrances. Aujourd'hui, nous allons commencer le, la série des témoignages avec une dame qui a reçu ici même sa délivrance la semaine dernière à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Prière. A attiré votre attention sur ce fait car elle était possédée par les démons qui la traînaient dans le monde des ténèbres et aujourd'hui par la grâce de Dieu elle a été totalement délivrée de cette terrible possession démoniaque. Elle est ici pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu et remercier le Seigneur et pour, en témoignant de tous ses bienfaits dans sa vie et en témoignant de ce qu'il a fait pour lui à travers le moyen de l'eau d'onction. En écoutant ces témoignages, ouvrez-vous aussi votre cœur à ces paroles, car dans ces témoignages, vous pouvez trouver des solutions à vos problèmes. Et ces témoignages aussi sont faits pour vous édifier, pour renforcer votre foi, afin de vous apprêter à recevoir le vôtre dans le nom de Jésus. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. So right now, before the person comes out to testify, we are going to watch on the screen of our television how the deliverance took place during the ministration of the new anointing water last service day. Watch your screen. Au présent, regardons nos écrans pour voir la délivrance la semaine dernière à travers l'eau d'onction. As the new anointing water sent by Prophet T.B. Joshua was ministered to the congregation at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the presence of God descended over the auditorium. As the power of God fell upon this lady, the demon hiding within her was arrested and began to confess its crimes before it was cast out of her life forever. Who are you? Lucifer. How did you get that? From two years old. <laughs> When the mom gave birth to her, I saw her star. Her star shines more than the sun in the morning by 12. What evil have you done to the family? Terrible. Speak, I've not even started. You know, you know, I took control over her, over the child, over the marriage, over her future, over her study. She said she would be delivered here, and I said, no, she's mine. Look at the ring. I gave her spirit of lying, spirit of destruction. Any man that look at her, even working, you take everything you are initiated. I initiate everybody, even when she's working. Look at everything. No man can see her beauty because I took everything. All the beauty in her, I took everything. This girl, she wants to be an ambassador. She has contact with all type of people. This girl, you know what she has? She's more than a queen. More than the queen. She's above. Everybody will hear about her name if you deliver her. She can be delivered. Do you get that? I took control over the land, over that country. It's mine. What happened to her family? To her family? Her mother, no money. Her father, messless. The guy that she wants to marry, I was about some days ago to take him out from work. Her son, she was about to die when she was, when she was giving birth. Her bridge, boop, 
the boy, I ate the boy from inside the womb. I gave her money. This day she's money. The person next to you. Who is the person next to you? I'm the only one. I'm the owner. I'm the owner. I'm the mother. You're the mother. I'm the yes. Owner. What can you say about your daughter? Everything he's saying is true. About about our education, zero. The marriage? the marriage, zero. Three disappointments. The baby she delivered Feb February. The baby died. Upon all we tried. Prayers. But I don't know what I her. Only this thing you but have. I I saved her when she was pushing. Because the boy, she was under oxygen pushing. She said, no more, my sister. Her sister was there. No more because of this nonsense you're having in your hand. That saved her. This is She's lonely. She will always be lonely. You know what? All the youth in that land, in that country, they are under me. The land is under me. I took control over the churches, over all the pastors. I gave a spirit of prostitution. Anytime she goes to a church, that mother, her so-called so mother, her so-called person will take her to church for deliverance. Before they deliver me, I deliver all the pastors. I, can't you see me? I deliver all. You can't take me out from her. The manifestation of the I am the owner. Lucifer. She's my sister. What can you say about your sister? And uh, the only problem that she has that she always be anger. Anytime you talk to her, she can want to dominate in the house. She want whatever she said is what going to happen. She want to control everybody because of Jesus Christ. Be set free. Powerless in the face of the light of God in the new anointing water. The demonic powers began to crumble away from the fire of God's purity. Because of Jesus Christ, be set free, Jesus name. Because of Jesus Christ, be set free. Be set free, Jesus name. Come out in Jesus name. Jesus Christ wants you out. Knowing that its end was near, the demon took to the floor, trying to escape. But there was no way out. Because of Jesus Christ, you are set free. Thank you, Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Rise up. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Rise up, rise up, you are free. Jesus Christ has set you free. Rise up. That's you for the It is well. It is well. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? And that was how she was delivered. Just a spray of the anointing water put an end to the demon possession in her life. And remember, that anointing water, you are going to receive the spray of it today. And that will put an end to all the common calamities of life you are facing today in Jesus' name. So right now, they will be coming forward to share the wonderful testimony, the family is here to give all glory to God Almighty. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Mesdames et Messieurs, nous venons de voir la délivrance de cette dame, cette dame qui a été délivrée la semaine dernière ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations à travers l'audonction. Toute la famille est revenue ici pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu pour cette merveilleuse délivrance. Glory be to God in the highest. So, sister, we welcome you once again to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today. So, right now, I want to listen to your wonderful testimony. Start by introducing yourself and the people standing beside you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. People of God, I can't hear you. Emmanuel. Uh, my name is Paulina. I come from Equatorial Guinea, Malabo. I'm here to testify for the goodness of God. And uh, before I go on, I want to introduce by my side is my mom, Alicia. The next is my brother, Ernesto. And the other guy is our family friend. 
I was possessed by a spiritual husband. Since uh, when I was a little girl, when I was three years old, and uh, for that time I didn't know that I was really possessed, but I started doing the things that the Spirit asked me to do when uh, I was at the age of 12. I was raped once by uh, a neighbor, and uh, since after the, the raping, I made the vow, I took a decision to destroy all the men that would come across me. I took the decision, I said, I'm going to destroy all the men. If you are a man, you know you'll be destroyed through me. And uh, without knowing that behind, within, behind what I was saying, there is a first that we really, that we really uh, do that. I didn't know what I, I knew I would destroy, but I didn't, know, I didn't mind to ask, how am I going to destroy those people? Then I started going across many people, men, all type of men. If it's about rich, poor, all type of people. I don't go there because of money. They don't call me because, of, because they, uh, many come to me because they want to date me. And others just because of uh, sex and that. But once I look at you, you come, as, you come to me as a man. Once I look at you, I will start laughing at you inside me. Saying, you are destroyed. Why? Just because you are a man. Because you are a part, you are among the, the guy, you are a part of the guy that destroyed my life. And uh, I will make sure you are destroyed. I will look at you, I will look into your eyes. And once I look into your eyes, I will say, you are destroyed. After sleeping with you, after having an affair with you, I will know you are destroyed. If you come later or no later. But I know once you start asking me to go out with you, I will say you are destroyed. And I started going on and on with that. Without really knowing that there is a force behind the, 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 the veil or the, the, the covenant I made when I was 12 years old. And uh, after even after having my first child by seven years old now, I didn't even know that I didn't have a mind that I'm a, that I'm a mother. I didn't have a mind that I have a child. I was also thank God for my mom that did that for me, that helped me. So what, what, what was responsible for that feeling as at that time? Sorry? What was responsible for the feeling you had that you did not even feel, you didn't even feel like someone who had a child? Yeah, because I made the vow that if you are a man, you are not part of me because you are a man. Mm. That was what happened because I had a son. The first time my mom gave me the baby at the hospital, I wanted to throw him away because I knew he's a man. And I want to destroy him. The only thing that made me not to destroy that child is because he's my son. Mm. Because I was the one that gave birth to him. That was the reason why I couldn't say that to him, that I would destroy you the way I say to others. But yes, I destroy him in other way, giving him the spirit, uh, the spirit of asthma. So you mean the way you saw other men was the same way you were looking at your child. You, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you were not seeing the child as, as, a, as a baby, but as a man, because he was a male child. Yeah. And, and you had already... You know, vowed that every man that come your way, you would destroy them. Yes. Okay, because of our French viewers all over the world, we want them to be carried along. So we are going to hear the translation of this wonderful testimony before we continue. Mesdames et messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce témoignage de cette dame qui a reçu sa délivrance ici même à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Une délivrance euh, qu'elle était possédée d'un esprit, l'esprit de Lucifer, qui il a mis en elle l'esprit de mensonge et de destruction, qui a rendu ses parents très pauvres et qui a détruit son mariage en lui créant notamment trois déceptions dans le mariage. Et cet esprit aussi a ôté la vie à son enfant qu'elle avait accouché et lui avait donné aussi un esprit de colère et de domination. Elle dit qu'à l'âge de deux ans, elle était possédée par un mari de nuit et en grand elle a eu à subir un viol et depuis ce jour, elle a décidé de détruire tous les hommes qui se présenteront devant elle. Ceci étant, en sortant avec les hommes un à un, elle disait en elle qu'en sortant avec un homme, cet homme était complètement détruit et c'est ce qu'elle a continué à faire jusqu'à un moment où elle a eu à, à accoucher pour la première fois, mais elle n'avait aucun 
aucun amour pour cet enfant qu'elle a donné, étant donné que cet enfant était un garçon, mais par la grâce de Dieu, elle avait sa mère à côté d'elle qui a eu à s'occuper de cet enfant. Et quand elle, a, elle lui a donné l'enfant juste après l'accouchement, elle a eu ce désir de jeter cet enfant parce que cet enfant était un garçon. Voilà un peu ce qu'elle est en train de raconter ici même à la synagogue église de toutes les nations à travers ce merveilleux témoignage. Par la grâce de Dieu, la semaine dernière, elle a reçu sa délivrance car le Seigneur Jésus-Christ a toujours quelque chose à dire sur sa vie à travers l'eau d'onction. Sachez qu'à la puissance du Seigneur, rien n'est impossible et la puissance du Seigneur a exposé les ténèbres qui étaient en elle et qui a créé tout ce désagrément dans sa vie et dans la vie de toute sa famille. Quelle que soit la difficulté à laquelle nous sommes confrontés, le Seigneur a toujours quelque chose à dire sur notre vie. Il nous aime, il nous protège, il nous guérit, il nous guide, il nous sauve et il nous pardonne tous nos péchés en nous donnant de nouvelles chances dans la vie. Que le cas de cette dame nous serve de leçon, car quelle que soit vous aussi votre possession démoniaque, quel que soit le jour dans votre vie aujourd'hui, le Seigneur Dieu Tout-Puissant opérera un miracle dans votre vie en vous affranchissant définitivement, en vous libérant définitivement de tous de vos fardeaux pour la gloire de Dieu. Cet esprit a créé beaucoup de tort à cette dame, notamment elle a eu à faire face à trois déceptions dans le mariage, car non seulement elle n'avait aucune affection pour les hommes avec qui elle était, mais aussi elle avait pour ambition de détruire tous les hommes qui croiseraient son chemin. Nous avons vu comment l'esprit de Lucifer a œuvré dans cette dame et a apporté la désolation, la destruction totale au sein de sa famille, au sein de ses activités, dans son cœur, en lui donnant de la haine pour tout être humain de sexe masculin. Par la grâce de Dieu, elle a reçu sa délivrance au nom de Jésus à travers l'audonction la semaine dernière. Les, dé les témoignages continuent. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please let us listen attentively to this uh, encounter, this experience our sister is sharing. We have a lot of lessons to learn from her testimony today. So continue with your testimony. Um, um, as, uh, my, as I was saying, my life was, was going on and on with that, destroying men, coming to me, having sex with them, and all that. And the... Uh, what was happening because this thing was really affecting my life and three years back i knew i told my family that see what is happening to me so they said we have to go through deliverance and before they even thought about deliverance i was going to churches i they invite me or they did not even invite me i would just say let me just go to this church i will worship with them just for a time of so for a day and once i got there the pastors no need for you to come close to me. I once I get to the, th to the church, I sit down, I look into your eyes, and once I'm looking to you, into your eyes, the spirit in me will tell me if you are capable or not capable to touch me or to deliver me. I was looking at them. Once I look at, once I look at them, I will see that power is finished. And uh, I, they, without sleeping with me, they don't need to sleep with me, but I will go and say, this man slept with me. Even if he, he did not, even if the pastor, no need for him to do it, but I will say, he, just because I want to, I want to, I want to spoil the names of the pastors, I want to destroy their lives and their, everything, their ministry and everything, just that. Because in many churches, that is what I've been doing. I go there, I sit down. And if they want to deliver me, some will come that they want to deliver me. They will lay their hands. And once they lay their hand on my, on, my, on my forehead, I will look at into your eyes. Once I look into your eyes, I will laugh at you because I know you don't have the grace or the power to deliver me. So that is, that is what I've been going on since, the, since I, uh, I've been possessed, since I was possessed of that evil spirit. So... That is the way I was going, 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 and, and so, so. Can you tell us how many pastors you succeeded destroying through this process? Uh, really, I can't. I can't uh, specificate how many there are because there are, many. there are many. There are many. So you mean even if you uh, do not make love with them, you will still go outside and tell people, "Oh, I make love with this pastor. I make love with this pastor," and by the by the time, before you know it, the news will spread around and that will tarnish their image. 
Yeah. And what happens to their ministry after them? A uh, few of them I used to go back. Let me say as a, uh, to to see what is happening. I would just go sit down and watch. Once I look at you again, I see you don't have anything in you. I will see you empty as a pastor. I will see your life, maybe your marriage, but I don't care about your marriage, but what, what I care is about your ministry. So has there been any time all these men you have affair with, they are initiated to your kingdom? Mesdames et Messieurs, le témoignage continue. Nous sommes en train d'écouter cette confession ou ces témoignages de cette dame qui continue par nous dire que face aux terribles problèmes qu'elle faisait, elle a, eu, elle, a être, elle a été conseillée par sa famille pour une délivrance. Donc il y a deux ans de cela qu'elle a commencé à chercher sa délivrance en allant d'église en église, et, mais les pasteurs qu'elle visitait n'arrivaient pas à la délivrer car qu elle, quand elle arrivait dans ces églises, elle-même, l'esprit venait sur elle et elle avait l'ambition de détruire ses pasteurs et quand elle s'approchait de ses pasteurs, elle constatait effectivement que nombreux sont ceux d'entre eux qui n'avaient pas le pouvoir de la délivrer. Elle se moquait d'eux et colportait des mensonges sur eux dehors comme quoi ses pasteurs couchaient avec elle. Jusqu'au jusqu moment où les pasteurs ne s'en rendent compte, la nouvelle est déjà propagée, ce qui détruisait leur ministère. Ok, so tell us, uh, now as you continued meeting the men and destroying them, apart from those who are pastors, the other men you have affairs with, what really happened to their life, their business and everything? Ok. Once, um, once, you, once we met, we have sex or no, once, I'm already, once I've already looked into your eyes from the first time I met you, I, knew you, I know your life is gone, your life is destroyed, your career, if your ministry, if you are a Christian, everything about you we got. Some now are my friends, normal friends. And sometimes we meet, I meet them, I ask, what, what about you, what is happening to your life? You tell me, my sister, my life is this, my life is that. Things have, been, things have no more good the way they were before. I don't really know what is happening. I will say, God will make a way where there is no way to them. Just so so there, was, there was an evil power in that eyes that when you look at men, even when they don't look at you, they are destroyed. The moment you set your eyes on them and you look at them, then they are destroyed. Yes, and even, I don't need a man, sometimes, you don't need to come close to me or tell me I love you. If I'm passing, men, I will be, I sometimes, when I'm with myself, when the spirit is not controlling me, I used to ask myself, what is really happening? That what is really happening that men are, people are looking at me like this, what do I have, did I dress badly, am I dirty or, or am I smelling, what is happening to me? Without knowing, I didn't know that that is the attraction, the evil spirit is attracting those people just to initiate them, to destroy their life. Even while looking at me, why passing? That, that is the, one of the ways to that the evil spirit destroy people. Okay, tell us uh, which other areas did this evil spirit make you to destroy people or destroy people around you? Um, apart from my eyes and my, my way of no. Good. If you call me right now, we start talking, how are you? How was your life? How did you good about this? And you, we start having that urge to be with me. You will just start imagining because most of the time I can read mine, the, um, the mind of the people. I read your mind even through the phone. If you are, you, are, you are trying to do that, I will know this person is trying to do this. And I will start laughing. Most of the time they ask me, why are you laughing? And I say, nothing. I'm just laughing because I feel like. And without knowing, he without knowing that the spirit in me is already in him, forcing him or making him to masturbate just through hearing my voice on phone and from then on what happens to that man you are finished you would think your life is this your life is that you are having money but you have much uh, much uh, barriers in your life even the way you are not having them before why just because you have an encounter with only my voice if i'm talking where people are where many people are they will just admire me just the way i speak to them if it's, if i have to speak spanish if I have to speak English, 
any language they want, if I have to speak any language, they will start admiring me just the, the sound of my voice. They will get attracted. And once that, they will start having other thoughts in them. Even if they see that they cannot come to me to date me, they will say, wow, if I could go out with this girl, if I could do this to her, and from there, they are off. Okay, now tell us what have been your encounter with this spiritual husband? On uh, two, uh, 2011 January, I came here to Nigeria to visit, to visit my father. When I went back, I was sleeping. I'm sorry to say, I was half naked, sleeping. And suddenly, I felt pains down my stomach. And when I opened my eyes, I saw I'm... Um, I cannot talk, I couldn't talk, it was as if there is a power forcing me not to open my mouth, my, my, even to breathe. Suddenly when I look in front of the door of my room, I saw a, a giant man, a very huge man coming out from my room. I look at him. I wanted to shout to talk, who are you, what did you do to me? But I couldn't even talk, I couldn't say anything. What, after some minutes I got myself. I shouted that night. But the next morning, I asked people, even my mom, if she heard me. She said she didn't hear anything. She didn't hear where I, when I was shouting. When I look at myself, I was wet, like someone that just had an affair with a man. My bed was wet. Myself, I was wet. And I was feeling pain, like someone that just had an uh, intimate relationship with a man. So the second time, I saw him. I feel him. And I fight with him. When he tried to open my legs, I was sleeping. And he came to me because in my room, in my room I had a wave rope where my clothes were hanged. And uh, I was sleeping. I, I feel the presence of someone, of a person beside me physically. But the person was holding me, my mouth, my, everything. I couldn't stand up. The person was trying to open, open my legs for, to sleep with me. But I was insisting. Suddenly, I thought my, I talked to myself. I, what is really happening? Force yourself, use your leg to hit the person. Once I hit, I use my leg to hit the person. The wave drop was surprised me. The wave drop fell down, broke into pieces. And since then, I knew that this person that had been coming to me in my in my this person that had been coming to my dreams to have sex with me is really coming physically because first time I saw him going out and I felt bad. And this time around, he tried to force me, and this this fell down just break just like this and since then i started noticing that strangeness have been happening because not just in my dreams but also physically Mesdames et messieurs, nous venons de l'écouter de cette dame, les expériences qu'elle a eues à vivre à travers notamment toutes ces différentes possessions démoniaques. Elle dit qu'elle a détruit la vie de plusieurs hommes et que juste en regardant les hommes dans leurs yeux, elle les détruisait. Elle dit qu'elle mettait l'esprit de masturbation en les hommes juste en écoutant sa voix. Ces hommes se faisaient des idées sur elle et se demandaient comment faire pour sortir avec elle juste en pensant à elle. Ces hommes étaient possédés par cet esprit. Et aussi, elle dit qu'elle a eu à sentir la présence de de ce mari de nuit qui, qui était avec elle, qui a, il y a de cela trois ans maintenant, en dormant un jour, elle a senti la présence d'un esprit, de, de quelqu'un dans sa chambre, et quand elle a essayé d'ouvrir les yeux, elle a vu un homme très géant qui sortait dans sa chambre, mais elle a constaté que elle même elle était euh, totalement mouillée parce qu'elle venait d'avoir des, des relations avec euh, quelqu'un, mais qu'elle n'avait pas vu. Donc, très étonnée, elle a eu à poser des questions à sa mère, comme quoi est-ce qu'elle a vu quelqu'un sortir de sa chambre, mais sa mère a dit qu'elle n'a vu personne. Aussi, elle dit qu'un autre jour, elle a encore senti cette présence dans sa chambre, et elle a vu que quelqu'un la pressait et l'empêchait de crier, et la, la maintenait pour pouvoir avoir encore des relations avec elle, mais quand elle a utilisé son pied pour bouger l'esprit qui était sur elle, elle a constaté que son armoire qui se trouvait derrière avait bougé, l'armoire était complètement renversée par terre. Donc elle a commencé par se poser des questions, car cet esprit de mari de nuit avait commencé à prendre un grand élan dans sa vie. Ok, because of time, we know you have so much experience to share, we now want you to tell us how did you now got to know about Emmanuel TV and eventually you came here for your deliverance? Okay. Uh, some years back, I was living with my aunt. And uh, my aunt was, uh, she is those people that uh, she saw the man of God through another person, the Emmanuel TV, and she started watching it because she came here because of some, because of some problems. And when she came back, I was living with her that time and she said, in this house, 
the Emmanuel TV must be on day and night, no other station in the TV. We must watch it day and night. And since then, I started watching it, but even without doing, living my life the way I was living it, doing all sorts of things. Yeah? And I started having it, when, after leaving my aunt, I went back to my mom's house. I started watching it because my mom also started watching it. We watch it day, night, and sometimes if I'm alone at home, I will own it, start watching the things that are happening to people's lives. And since then, I started noticing that, see, girl, what is happening to you is not a normal thing because look at this person. This person is just facing the things that you, you are facing. This person is already delivered. Why not study about this TVL again, study about this man, hear the preaching and... Uh, Go on, go on. You can get something from him. And suddenly I started, apart from going close to the church, I started with the man of God. I started getting many things. So my deliverance started since before I got here. So you mean since you started watching Emmanuel TV, you were able to discover that there was a power in you that was making you to destroy people? Yes, and through the Emmanuel TV, I saw it because apart from seeing the Emmanuel TV, I'd never imagined I have a power, such power in me. I only knew I'm, I said I would destroy you, but without knowing the way I would destroy your life. So before, before that time, you saw all what you were doing as a normal way of life? Yes, yeah, as a normal way of life, as a normal person, normal girl. The, doing sort, all sorts of things with men or going to churches and uh, saying this, saying that, doing this and that. Yeah. Okay, then tell us eventually how did you manage to come here? Yeah, uh, I have been trying to come here before, but the spirit was blocking me. All the people that tried to help me to come here because I tried to come here the first time, nothing. The second time, nothing. So my fiancé finally decided with my brother that they will, they will come with me. They are going to buy my ticket, buy the visa, write everything without letting me know until two days before coming. That is when they will let me know. Because I, I, I knew, and I, through the Emmanuel TV, I knew that the Spirit is affecting anything that it comes to my mind, a good thing. If I think maybe to go to the bank, have this money, and do this good thing with it, it will come and destroy it. Before I knew everything is gone. So I told, I told my fiancé, see, when I will have to go, please don't let me know. You do this apart. When it's time to go, you let me know and I will go. Okay, okay now tell us uh, why you were coming. Was there anything that happened on the way as you were coming to Nigeria, to the synagogue church? Here, yeah, as used my spirit of anger, I was also always angry. Something was telling me uh, last Sunday, go out from the church, go out from the church because the, the, the first time they do, do, you are not delivered, you will manifest and all that because of these, these boys that are strange. Do you think the man of God is not here? So don't think these little boys will deliver. You will not be delivered. So go your way, go to the hotel. You just go and be there. Wait for your mother there and your brothers. When the service will end, you will see them there. So I was trying to do that, but as I knew what was disturbing me, I tried to force him not to use me. I tried to take control of myself and not allowing him to take control of, my, of me anymore. So I decided I'm not going to step up to this church without my deliverance. I kneeled down to God. I cried loud. I said, God, I don't want to go out from here with this because my family is, destro is destroyed. My family is divided. My brothers and sisters, no job, nothing comes out from my family. My son is even sick of asthma without knowing how. Nobody in my house has asthma, but he's suffering. My mom, no, nothing to talk about her. They are, they are calling my mom names, poor woman, this and that, just because the spirit have destroyed her through me, my brothers and sisters too. All of us, we have children in our mother house. Why my brothers, they finish their university, but no job. My fiancé too, he's there as if someone that is not working. I'm working too. I'm a protocol of the Foreign Affairs Ministry. But nothing comes out from there. I'm, an, I'm an usher also, international conference, traveling and all that. But nothing comes out from there, my studies. I can concentrate in study now, right now. I read all the book. But once I go to the exam, there is nothing. I knew all this thing has to end here. I told God, I'm not leaving this place. Even if the man of God is here or no. Even if they can't do it, but him himself will do it. 
So I said I'm not go out from here without my deliverance. Okay, when the uh, anointing water, the new when the new anointing water was being ministered last Sunday service and the evangelist came to you and ministered the anointing water on you, we saw some funny reaction. Can you explain that? Why were you trying to have uh, a chat with the evangelist as we can see in the video? As I said before, I'm used to that. If you come close to me, I will try to see, I will check the, the power you have in you with my eyes and the love and the love i will just laugh at you look at you i will say no you are not able so i thought he, uh, he because i said in, in me that he's a, just a little boy he cannot this water cannot do anything this is main water this, how can even if the water is having power but this boy cannot use it only the man of god the man of god is not around he would not so i look at him i say he's power he's powerless he cannot do without knowing that really god have already caged me that here i'm not going without my testimony hallelujah put your hands together for jesus christ okay when the anointing water touched you we saw a change in your attitude what happened what what was it water or what happened because the reaction you know give a different impression uh, about what uh, what happened that very day what tell us what you felt when the water touched you I, what i've never expect because i thought this main water coming to touch me without knowing that really because the fire was but i i feel it i can tell you apart from being possessed i felt fire i see my hand my hand was really burning and i couldn't control myself because sometimes if a man of god comes close to me i can control myself not to manifest because i see you cannot do you cannot make me to manifest you are not having that power but once the, the anointing one that touched me i saw i can't control myself so i started talking and talking and uh, misbehaving so viewers all over the world you can see on the screen of a television that was how uh, she was caught in the fire of the anointing water and started manifesting as you can see strange attitude there confirming that evil spiritual husband in her life and tell us since after your deliverance what happened Emmanuel Emmanuel people of God Emmanuel since uh, Sunday I slept once we left the church i went to the hotel i started praising my god started worship because in me within me i feel i felt peace i feel joy i feel release as if i was newborn i was trying to check myself why am i feeling released what happened to me but i saw that the anointing water did something in my life because i was sleeping all this time that i've been sleeping some days ago Three days or four days ago, a man wanted the man wanted to come to me as use as uh, as always to have affair with me, but he couldn't. There was a there was a something was blocking him from coming close to me, so he couldn't come again because I'm already delivered. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah! Glory be to God in the highest. And uh, before we listen to a word of advice from you we would like to hear a word or two from your mother madam please tell us your name Emmanuel people of God mothers help me to shout Emmanuel, Emmanuel. yes God is with us if God is with us who can be against us nobody, nobody. My name is Sister Liz Chele Oko. I've come from Guinea Equatorial. The next person to me is my daughter, Paulina Ezikwe Oko. Then next is Ernesto, is my son. The next person to him is a family friend. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. I will cut it short because of time. 
this matter of spiritual husband or spiritual that was past he started with me the mother but i face him i say i cannot marry you he came twice i say i can't i don't know you i can't marry you i can't marry you you mean in the dream you in the dream out? dream he came when, a huge man was it before or after you had your 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 daughter before i had my daughter so he came three times i say i cannot marry you i can't so he left within six months he came again wearing this agbada say he wants to marry me i say i can't marry you but behind me you sat down i can't marry you so he left so within a short time i gave birth to my daughter without knowing all this time without knowing that is spiritual something behaving strange after 14 years he got uh, he got pregnant oh i felt bad as a mother no studies nothing to write about <laughs> what is wrong with this girl pray is problem what as she as she have said she will laugh at you and keep quiet so as time goes on we start to watch watching emmanuel and we cut it short emmanuel tv so she was living with my cousin when she came i said please start to watch this emmanuel tv so i start to see what is happening the testimony people are giving i come to realize so this spiritual something so to cut this short her study she will go to school fine she will dress and go to school but within two hours she will come back she will be very angry uh -uh. a child without study what i start to cry in my heart i say god of senior prophet tv joshua one day you will deliver my daughter and true she take that boat she came here herself okay now tell us since after she was delivered what has been the attitude what have you seen in her that that you can confirm that oh my daughter is a new person now so on sunday we came on the 13th we are here she manifested we went i start to pray i said she will, i will not live here in this arena of liberty my daughter will be delivered so you know our father in the lord always tell us let us have faith faith is the only connection so we came here we pray went to the hotel the last sunday went to the hotel we prayed for coming i said god i was sitting down that side i said before the tabernacle of god you will deliver delivered my daughter i came empty-handed and i will go my hand filled with blessing so when it started manifesting i say you will go today today in this arena of liberty is over my daughter is over so since that sunday she slept as a a baby she was just without saying anything but a surprise came on thursday for me i was sitting down i sat down there reading my bible she came she's shivering i said what is wrong see some man of god as man of god saw her she saw man of god in her eyes she saw the light of god in her eyes so from that thursday she's totally delivered praise jesus hallelujah put your hands together for jesus christ thank you thank you very much so we would like to hear uh, a word of advice from you to viewers all over the world and everyone listening to your testimony right now Emmanuel people of God I I really want to take this advice just first of all for the youth secondly for our pastors out there see us youth we always neglect the advice of our parents because they are old we think we are the, we are in the uh, we are in the uh, uh, how am i going to say we are in the, uh, 
uh, young moment, good moment, how am I going to say it in English? Uh, um, tiempos modernos, modern life, so we cannot hear our old people there because they are already past. No, life is not like that. Because I really, I really knew that I have this. I really, I knew that, see, what is happening to me is not normal. To the others of my mother, of old people, to them, to the man of God, because he's not too young as I am. He's a young man, but he's grown up. He's through his eyes, through the TV. I knew what was happening to me because my mom went to many people, tell them, please talk to my daughter because I cannot even talk to her anymore. Anytime I talk to her, she got angry. She talked to many people, many women in the church, called me, talked to me that, see, you have to change. Through the advice. And let me tell you, the internet, the internet is a great thing to you. So, for the pastors, I'm going to tell you, don't hesitate to touch the heads of the people because you don't know who is who. You don't know who comes against you and who does not come against you. So, be very careful. If you don't have, if you don't have the call of God, if you are not full of the Holy Spirit, please, I'm begging you, don't touch the head. Don't feel because you, you are in the church. You want people to see you. You want to touch because you will get what you are looking for if you do that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. To God be the glory. Yes, we have heard it all. And uh, now that you are completely set free through the medium of the new anointing water, we also want to encourage you now that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, all things pass away. And to maintain this wonderful deliverance you have received is to make the word of God the standard for your life because those who are delivered by Christ's word must be ruled by his word. And we pray that God Almighty will give you the inner grace to make his word the standard for your life in Jesus name. Mesdames et messieurs, nous venons d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage et cette confession de cette dame qui a reçu sa délivrance ici même à la synagogue église de toutes les nations le dimanche dernier au cours du service. Elle nous dit qu'elle était possédée par un esprit de Lucifer, un esprit de Marie de nuit qui a créé beaucoup de désagréments dans sa vie et aussi à sa famille. Cet esprit-là lui donnait de la domination sur les hommes. Elle a décidé de détruire tous les hommes et la son éducation était totalement perturbée, elle ne respectait personne, mais agissait pour nuire à tous les hommes qui s'approchaient d'elle ou qui avaient des pensées envers elle. Par la grâce de Dieu, elle fut introduite à Emmanuel Télévision par une de ses tantes et lorsqu'elle était rentrée chez elle, elle a installé Emmanuel Télévision et a commencé à regarder que les gens étaient délivrés ici même à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. À travers cela, elle a constaté que sa vie qu'elle menait n'était pas du tout normale et qu'elle aussi, elle avait besoin de délivrance. Par la grâce de Dieu, elle arriva finalement à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où au cours du service dernier, elle a eu à se faire administrer la nouvelle odonction et l'esprit démoniaque qui était en elle a manifesté. Et par la grâce de Dieu, cet esprit a été expulsé de son corps à travers cette nouvelle odonction. Nous avons écouté sa mère aussi qui a eu à nous dire que elle même cet esprit de Marie de nuit était venu vers elle mais elle a tenu à cet esprit, mais sa fille a payé le prix. Mais aujourd'hui, à travers la grâce de Dieu, ils sont totalement libres et toute la famille est restaurée. Ils rendent toute la gloire à Dieu de les avoir délivrés de ce terrible esprit de Marie de nuit et de Lucifer. www.goan.org Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, 
it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at scoan.org We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child.